Hi everyone! Today we're going to be learning about Gallium aparine L, otherwise known as bed straw, sticky willy, goosegrass, the velcro plant, and cleavers. Cleavers is a herbaceous annual plant that can sometimes be a biannual, and it grows to be between 0.2 and 1.8 meters tall. Now the most notable trait of the species is that it sticks readily to clothing, hence the common names sticky willy and the velcro plant. Additionally, the seeds of this species have been used as a coffee substitute or turned into an extract to curd milk for cheese making. Lastly, cleavers have been used by Native Americans as a laxative or as a treatment for gonorrhea and kidney issues. Now, if we take a look at the distribution map of cleavers in North America, we can see that cleavers are pretty widespread, being native to most of North America. Areas that mark this species as noxious have restrictions on the use of cleaver seeds. I'll mention that in many areas, depending on the habitat, cleavers can become a bit weedy. However, if you'd like to add this species to your landscape, it grows best in hardiness zones 3 through 7. Alright, when it comes to cleavers' natural environment, they can survive in a lot of different places, especially those that are shady and moist. Examples of habitats that cleavers can be found in include forests, floodplains, and prairies. This species pops up a lot in disturbed areas and is found quite often in grains and crops grown in nurseries. Now here we have a bunch of cleavers growing right next to each other, and this is typically how you'd see them growing. But if we zoom into the stem and leaves, we'll see that the stem is a gangly square-shaped one with little bristles that help the plant grab onto things. We can also see that the leaves are whirled with six to eight leaves per whirl of leaves. Now each leaf is sessile, simple, entire, lance-shaped, and is covered in tiny bristles. The flowers of cleavers bloom March to May in a type of inflorescence called a chyme that arises from the leaf axis and contains around three to five perfect white flowers. Each flower is very small and contains four petals, four stamen, and one pistil. These flowers are mostly self-pollinated, but they can be cross-pollinated, and when they are, they'll typically be pollinated by bees, ants, flies, small wasps, and beetles. After pollination takes place, a fruit called a sizocarp will form that is covered in sticky hooked hairs. This allows for easy dispersal of fruits via humans or animals. A single plant can make anywhere from 300 to 400 seeds, and these seeds can survive in the seed bank for around six years. On top of that, not a lot of animals like to eat the seeds because they are a bit spiky. However, some animals like wild turkeys or livestock may eat them. Additionally, the seeds of cleavers can be dispersed by water because the fruits are buoyant. I will note that cleavers don't reproduce vegetatively. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about cleavers, otherwise known as gallium aparine with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.